Hello crafty friends! Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the card that I posted in my last video and this card uses the Tim Holtz Tattered Florals die and it uses the second largest flower and I also use my Nestability dies but you could also use your Circle Cutter or your Cricut. So to get our supplies out we're going to have two of those little flowers and we're going to emboss those if you'd like. I use the Swiss Dots embossing folder. I also have a small circle for the center of the flower, a larger circle for the background, I also have a circle cut for my card front. So here we're just going to ink up the edges of the flower just really lightly. I'm using Yo-Yo Yellow Ink from Stampin' Up! And I'm just barely touching it just to add a little bit of color and some highlight to the flowers. And so here I'm just going to finish up inking my second flower. And after I finish that, I'm just going to be offsetting the second flower on top of the first flower. That'll add some dimension and depth to your flower. And then I'm going to add three little 1 16th inch pop dots. And that's what I'm going to use to adhere the flower to the other flower. And then I'm just going to get that on there exactly how I'd like it. And sometimes you have to play with it just a little bit to get those petals to be offset just right. And next I'm just going to take a paintbrush and curl the ends of the petals up. And I'm really just doing it very lightly. I'm just taking one finger and just kind of rolling it up over the paintbrush. And here I go. And this adds great character and effect to your flower. And after I'm finished with that, I'm going to set some stuff aside here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glitter the center of my flower. I used my Nestability die and my Big Shot to cut the center of my flower so I was able to emboss it as well. So I'm just taking my glue pen and I'm coloring the embossed center section of the circle. And I'm going to glitter it with some yellow Doodlebug glitter. Just going to sprinkle on a little bit there. And I like to press it down with my paper just to make sure I get a nice coverage. Just tapping off the excess. And then any stubborn glitter that is around this um, outer portion of the circle, I just use a small paintbrush and I just wipe it away. And next I'm getting ready to stamp the sentiment. And sometimes when I can't decide what color to stamp the sentiment, I'll go ahead and stamp it on the same color cardstock that I'm going to be stamping on. And I'll just give it a rough cut. And then I'll place it over my cardstock and that way I can decide what color to use and I can also move it around and get a really good idea of where I also want to have the placement of my sentiment. So that's just a little tip on something that I do that might work for you as well. And so I went ahead and decided to use chocolate chip ink from Stampin' Up! for my sentiment. And the sentiment that I'm using today comes from a Brenda Walton stamp set that I got on HSN uh, many years ago. And here I'm just doing a couple test stamps just to make sure that everything is inking up good. And I'm not going to use my stamp -a majig or anything. I'm just going to wing it and stamp it on there. And it's stamped beautifully. Stampin' Up! inks are great. That is just the dye-based ink. And I ran out of ATG tape so I'm just using some adhesive squares. I'll have the measurements of both the circle that I'm using for the background and the circle that I cut for my card front um, in the description box below. So here I'm just going to pop off the backing on these adhesive squares. And I'm sure there are many different ways you could line up the center, but I'm just kind of lining it up and I can see through the card and know that that is centered on there. Kind of hard to explain, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. And after I get it lined up, I'm just going to close the card and press down on the center and get that circle stuck down. 
And then I'm just using some of my Tombow Mono multi-purpose glue here to glue the flower to the front of the card. And then I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball it for the center of the card and just press down and get that set. And when you're using the multi-glue, you have a little bit of time to go ahead and play with your card before the glue sets. And here I have some white pearls from Recollections. And I'm using the smallest size, and I'm just going to put a pearl on each side of the word birthday. And after that, the card is finished. I did decide to ink the edges of the card with Yo-Yo Yellow ink, which you'll see in some pictures at the very end of this video. And here's the card that I made in my last video. You can see that this card is very versatile, um, not only with just the flower colors, but also the cardstock colors, pattern papers, and also the sentiment. This could very well just be a thank you card, hello, I miss you. So many different options for this card. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, and if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I will have another video up for you soon. Bye!